Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sweating. Can you hear Ava singing in the background? I'm gonna be doing what I eat in a day, intuitive eating. Now, intuitive eating, as far as I'm concerned, is eating what you fancy, when you want it, what you crave, and just like healing that relationship with food. So if you struggle with videos where I talk about food, then feel free to click off, but I obviously won't be discussing calories or anything like that. So intuitive eating is just eating what you want when you want and not feeling bad about it because food is fuel and you shouldn't feel bad about eating food when you're hungry like it's normal to have three meals and snacks or four meals or whatever is normal for you is okay as long as you're having enough fruit and veg that's one thing that I need to work on anyway so it's 10 30 I usually would eat breakfast a little <laughs> well a lot earlier than this however I had some errands to run I had to walk the dog and then I had to go to Tesco's to get some stuff and what I've been loving lately for breakfast is a bacon and egg bagel now I never used to invest time in making breakfast to us. I never used to eat it and it would just ruin my food pattern for the rest of the day because then I'd be starving I'd have lunch really early and or I just snack really unnecessarily and it wouldn't fill me up I just needed to eat breakfast anyway I love breakfast now so I am gonna be making yeah a bagel with bacon and egg in it and it tastes so incredible food for me used to be a chore I didn't like making it whereas now I kind of enjoy making it because the outcome is worth it so a bacon and egg bagel is so simple I don't think I really need to like show you how to do it but I'll bring you along anyway I've been talking about having a bacon and egg bagel but I'm worried okay we have some my mum went to Lidl last night and I asked her to get bagels but obviously sometimes she forgets and I was really worried then that I got so excited for this bagel but here we go we have these ones from Lidl they're really good oh I need to wash my hands I did a few of these videos on TikTok and you guys seem to really enjoy them so let me know if you like this long form over here as I said already I'm trying to get the balance between uploading TikToks and YouTube videos because I like watching long YouTube videos I like having them on the background but not everyone likes that anyway no one cares I'm already rambling <laughs> I'm gonna toast my bagel, put on some bacon, and then do my egg after. I only do it in one pan because I'm lazy and I don't want to wash two pans. Duh. <laughs> you were traveling around that truck, so it's not just gonna happen like that with the egg. You're not really supposed to cut bagels in your hands. <laughs> some tomatoes because I thought I'd need to eat more vegetables because it's good for you then we have the egg and bacon bagel as you saw kind of dribbled everywhere so let's take a bite and I have to have it with ketchup of course so it's mmm 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 I've got this which I'm trying to work out if I love or hate. It's roasted garlic and pepper. So roasted garlic, pepper, salt and onion. And I think it's quite nice. I saw it on one of Rachel Leary's videos and then my boyfriend said it was really good. So I was like, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy my bagel. Mm -mm -mm. Guess what I'm having as a snack. It's quarter past one. I'm not really hungry for lunch, but I just want this. I'm not like particularly hungry, but I want it because I like it, which is kind of what intuitive eating is. So I want a pepperami. Now, don't hate me in the comments because some people say, Ugh, and the smell is so bad, but I don't even care. Did anyone else? It's, really, it's actually kind of gross, isn't it? Also, I really want to do a day where I go vegan, so let me know if I should do that. Did anyone else, when they were younger, like lick the packaging? <laughs> like I used to suck on the plastic after because I liked it so much. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm editing and I thought I'd do a quick interlude just tell you i've been put off pepperoni pepperoni pepperami for life i ate the plastic <laughs> you know like the plastic seal that i said that i used to suck when i was younger yeah i know gross i like the way i eat my pepperami is like i'll bite into it and then like pull the meat out it sounds so grim because i don't want to touch it because it smells and it makes my fingers smell probably a sign not to eat it and then i just bit into it and bit the plastic off without realizing and i was chewing like oh this is really chewy like i feel really sick but i get that sometimes with me and I'm like Bleh. and so I just was like okay stop being a drama queen eat it and then I looked and I was like oh. and I just bit off the plastic so I'm never having a pepperoni again because I'm literally put off for life I'm gonna have some lunch <laughs> Ew, there's a smudge on my camera <laughs> let's look into 
the fridge, shall we? I'll go through like what I usually have for lunch. Uh, what do I want? If you're like me and you're kind of a fussy eater slash you don't cook that much or don't know what to cook for lunch, here are some staple things that I get, which you can always make food from. Doesn't even make sense, but whatever. We have these, which are fine, but I think they're out of date. Okay, no, they're not out of date. We have one more day. They're also like all broken in half. <laughs> now I don't even want lunch. Ugh. This is what will put me in a bad mood, honestly. But like, these wraps are literally hard. Like, can you hear that? You know what, fuck it. I don't like changing my plan with food, so I'm gonna have it anyway. One thing that I do always have, or like I went through a phase of having them every single day, was a pizza wrap. So easy, you just get a tube of tomato puree, you squirt it on the pizza, and then you get this cheese. See, I don't usually like grated cheese because it doesn't taste like cheese. Like I would not have this on pasta, and if I see someone that does have it on pasta, I automatically don't really trust them. I just think it's odd <laughs> because it doesn't taste cheesy however on pizza wraps it's really good because it's like stringy and it's not like too overwhelmingly cheesy it's not like cheddar cheese on a wrap pour that on it and then put a bunch of like salami ham olives vegetables whatever you have on your pizza and it makes it a bit more filling so anyway i am literally <laughs> I'm a 10 year old. Maybe I should make like a stir fry. I had one the other day and it was really good. But I can't be bothered to cook. I just want something easy. You guys caught me on a bad day. <laughs> I have these southern fried chicken fillets. I'm gonna have like two of these in a wrap. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be good. She's all tucked up in bed to sleep. Abe is asleep. She's not asleep. I find it so cute when she does this look. <laughs> She looks like a little fried chicken or a little roast chicken. Do you look like a roast chicken? Did anyone else do those voices with their pets? I've started like speaking like that to my sister too. I'll be like, do you want to hug the night? <laughs> chicken is ready. I just did the weirdest dance. I don't know why I just made that so awkward. Do you want to know how I ensemble my rap? It's not the right word, is it? Get your broke. Oh, it's still really hard. Get out your chicken this is literally the worst day to film of what i eat in a day like actually how am i even gonna upload this is this really embarrassing but i also want to be like honest with you guys and like show you actually what i eat like i'm not gonna lie and pretend that i make gourmet meals all the time let's try the mini wrap <laughs> mm. okay i'm gonna steal a bit of this lettuce i think it's my sister so she low-key might be mad at me but i just feel i need something fresh it tastes like um that mcdonald's chicken wrap that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my wraps. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. I'm hungry again. It's been like an hour and I want something chocolate tea. And I made cakes the other day. I think they might be stale now. Ew, I just put my fingers on it. Just wipe it off. I feel like Trisha Pate is doing like a weird icing hack. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put new icing on top because that's how I roll. I don't normally have time for snacks like this, but I have literally the most free empty day. I have nothing to do. So whatever, oh, I could literally eat this whole tub itself. It's Cadbury's chocolate icing, it's so good. And then look, you like re-ice it because otherwise it's like weirdly watery after a while. This is too much icing. Take a bite. You ready? Mm -hmm. See you when I next get hungry. So it's 10 to 7 and I'm going to have some dinner. My mum and dad actually made me something which is really nice. So last night my mum made this like yogurt chicken. I don't, oh it looks green. <laughs> I don't really know what she does. She does like yogurt and herbs and cooks it. It's really good. I'll, I'll try to ask her what she does. And then we're going to have, I think this is like pepper and mushroom. This is human food. You're not allowed human food. We have some broccoli. You're also not allowed broccoli, Han. And then some roasted tomatoes. I think this needs to go back in the oven, but my parents are on a dog walk, so. Wait, not a dog walk, because they was there, but on a walk. And some onion, and what's in here? Ooh, lentils. So we're having like roasted vegetable lentils. I've never really had, well I have had lentils, but I can't remember if I like them, so we shall see. But I thought I kind of had not many veggies today, so I'll just have what my parents have.
I'm gonna have another chocolate cake because I want it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you want to see more what I eat in a day intuitive eating, then make sure to check out my TikTok because I have done about a million videos over there on it and it's quite fun. I think I might do a what I eat a week so you guys can see like a more balanced day because today was not that balanced. I think I had literally like three cupcakes. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you very soon with a new video. I love you. Mwah!